This video is going to talk about how to trade on the web platform. So after getting back to your web platform tab um, via the dashboard, you want to go back to the chart and then you'll see on the top right of the chart, there'll be three separate tabs, uh, trade, dome, and TNS, which is time and sales. Um, so we're gonna go to the first of those, which is trade. Selecting that's gonna enable your trading panel. Um, so you'll see a lot of um, important account details here. So you got the symbol, you got your balance, open quantity will show you the open um, amount of shares on that position, open PL, um, daily PL quantity. So this is going to refer to the, the order. Um, so this will be the quantity for the order on um, the account. If you have multiple, make sure you're in the correct account. Um, and then buy, buy side, sell side, market bid, limit and stop. So if I wanted to place a, a buy limit order, I'd select limit, put it on a chart. Say I wanted to place a, a buy stop order. Again, buy, select stop, I put it on the chart. Um, if you wanted to cancel those orders, you could hit flat, that will flatten the orders. Um, also, putting it back on the chart. If you wanted to cancel it just on the chart, you could click the X. That will also cancel the order. Um, going underneath it to um, OCO. So to, to enable OCO trading, you click the button. It's now enabled. Make sure if these aren't checked, you, you check them. Um, one important thing to remember with OCO is that this is in cents. So this is one cent, which will be a very tight um, so you probably want to adjust that to something wider. Um, and then when you put it on the chart, you'll see that the OCO is opened up. Um, so if you wanted to adjust it, you could do so that way. Um, and if you wanted to cancel it, again, you just hit cancel and the orders are gone. Um, if you want to do chart trading, so an another option, um, just make sure you enable at the bottom. Um, this will just show you where you can do, um, let's place an order down here. So on the buy, buy is green. Um, buy, buy is green. Sell is red. Um, so you can see now you have a sell limit and a buy limit and you can cancel all that way too. Um, I want to have a market order open. So I'm going to buy market and then i'm also going to have the sell stop and we'll come back to these in a little bit put a sell stop underneath okay so if you wanted to go to the dome we're gonna collapse this for a second and we'll go to the dome um, for those of you that that um, prefer to trade this way um, you have the settings where you can adjust right up here in the top so anything that you do, just make sure you click save before exiting out of that. Um, you can see that you have um, your bid, your ask inside market here um, on something that's moving quickly. Um, this could be moving pretty fast. Um, here will be the here will be the 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 size of the order. So one, if you want to adjust this to say a hundred, um, that's where you'll do it. Um, you can see here that the quantity that actually shows the quantity of the position. So this is this will be the quantity of the order, and this will be the quantity of the position. Um, if you wanted to buy, you select buy. You put your order on the bid side, sell, and you put your your order on the ask side of the dome. Time and sales, straightforward. Um, this is just show you like the prints, the volume, and the price. So for anybody looking for that, you can have and and you can have multiple of these open at the same time. So if you like the trading panel and the time and sales, you can have both selected. You can have all three selected if you'd like. Actually, now um, after you have your order open in position um, to actually view it. Um, you can go over to your account section. So this is going to be, so I'll collapse it again so you can see. So um, it's on your web platform here. And you click, click accounts, it's going to show. Um, so pending orders. So you'll see that this is the, the stop order on the chart. Um, so um, it'll show you the price, the quantity. So if you wanted to cancel it, this is a way to do it. 
Um, also, if you have multiple positions on, you'll see in your portfolio section, this will be where all the positions are. So um, you can manage them that way. Um, yes, you can manage them from the chart. You can also manage them from like the trading panel. But if you have multiple positions on at the same time, this could be an easy way to do it as well. Um, so Xing, Xing will flatten the position. So it basically turns into a market order. So just be aware if you click X, um, that turns into a market order and will flatten the position. Um, delete all. Delete all will, if you go here, so delete all will, will cancel. Um, if you're in a portfolio and you flat all, um, then that's going to auto liquidate all of your positions at the same time. Um, if you flat and delete, which I'm going to do right now, you can see that it both flattened your position. So it sold the position and it also canceled the, the open pending order. Um, you can see any adjustments to your balance. So this will be my account and show you the balance. Equity would be if there was an open position, um, drawdown daily, and then what my daily PL is. And that's where it all shows up. Um, if you are looking for the overall transaction, um, as you'll notice, like once it's closed from your portfolio, it's no longer here, then that's where you go back to the dashboard and you go to your account overview and details, which we talked about in a separate video. And then you can see the full round trip of the trade, including the entry, the exit, and the um, commissions that were applied to that trade.